Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to um, pwn, or pwn, whatever you want to call it, um, your iPod Touch in version 2.1, as you can see. And um, we're going to use Pornage Tool, which is this one. And you can download that from my website, which you'll be able to find from my blog, or on the things in the right description. And um, my channel, sorry, not my blog. And um, if you want to download the 2.1 software file, just go into the website again. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to have to completely quit out of iTunes, so command Q. Um, okay, now let's load Pornish Tool. And your iPod must be plugged in at this moment. Okay, so once that's loaded, just click OK to this message. iTunes is opened again. Command Q. It's very annoying. Okay. Click iPod Touch. Continue. Okay, now what it's going to do is going to find the uh, 2.1 firmware file. Um, you can place that wherever you want or on your desktop. And that's just searching for it now. It does take quite a while. So um, I'll just wait for a minute. Oh, that was quite quick this time. Okay, so there we go. iPod one comma one underscore two point one. Select that, and then continue. It's now going to create an iPod software file that you can use to restore your iPod Touch with iTunes. All right. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay. Now this takes quite a while. So um, what it's doing is what it says, and it'll be placed on the desktop. So, um, <clears throat> uh, I'll just give this a minute. Okay, so it's completed doing the, um, building the firmware. So, uh, it, about three quarters of the way through that process, it asks you for your password. So you just type that in and then it carries on a little bit longer. And then, as you can see, um, it creates the file here. Okay, so has your iPod Touch been pawned before? Um, does it have the pineapple logo? And it doesn't, so I'm going to click uh, no. Okay, now this is the tricky part. I find this the hardest part, and iTunes may open during this, and when it does, it probably messes up as well. So mine is open on a different page. So. Hopefully it won't open. Okay, so turn off the device. Hold the sleep button. And slide the power off. Okay, here we go. Okay, so just follow these instructions and I think we should have done this time. Just cancel that. Okay, there we go. Successfully entered DFU mode. Close Pornish to application, start and restore your iPod with the custom firmware file. Right, so command Q on his tool finally okay now so I've found it's best to keep iTunes open in a uh, different window or if you're on Windows in the same uh, yeah whatever um, okay so oh, damn it maybe I should have said check so it's got a farm on my iPod now, isn't it? So unplug it. Unplug your iPod. And then plug it back in again. And hopefully, ah, there we go. Right. 
the app is detected in iPod in recovery mode. Okay. Right. So what we're gonna do is click Alt Restore or Shift Restore, and um, find that custom firmware file that you made with Pornish Tool. So it usually or it does place it on the desktop, which is this one. And you know if it's the one that it made because it has custom in it. Okay, so we click open and then it's doing it. And at the moment your iPod screen still looks black, but if the screen turns white for a period of time then that's fine, don't worry about that. Okay, so this takes quite a while so I'm just gonna skip it for a bit. Come back to you when it's done. Okay, so it's done uh, res uh, yeah, restoring to the custom firmware and it's now rebooting with the pineapple logo and it's just come up with the connect to itunes logo so what i'm going to do is oh no has it recognized it <laughs> nope so i'm going to take the uh, lead out okay then plug it back in again yeah Okay, so now it's come up with the uh, slides to unlock with the battery and um, yeah, let's just see what it does now. This is the first time I've actually. Um, Alright, yep, so set up as a new iPod. And because it's my friends, just say Oscars. Oh. Done. Okay. Now, if I just say slide to unlock, edit home screen, and there we go, it has got Cydia and installer. I'll just switch over to the camera so you can see that. Okay, so here is my friend's iPod, and there we can see that, but. There is the App Store, there is Cydia, and there is the installer. And, uh, yep, yeah, there's nothing on there at the moment. But, oh. If you go to my um, website, web.me at web.me.com forward slash georgia.mason, um, and then you go to the App Store page, and then uh, just fill out the form, then I'll give you a username and password. And uh, I'll be able to give you some uh, free apps to um, go on here. So I'll just. Oh, you know there's 2.1 anyway. Yep. Alright then. See ya.